Pricing. Why is pricing so important? You can't just swing your pricing. Trust me. Once you watch this video and understand how to set your prices, you won't make the same big mistakes that I did. Labor plus materials plus overhead times four. For labor, set yourself an hourly that you'd like to make. $15 is a good starting spot, but this will vary based on your situation and what you want to accomplish. If you pay an employee to help you out, um, you probably want to put their hourly rate instead. Materials. Materials are obvious. Just calculate how much you paid for the parts. Overhead. Typically, overhead is going to be your office supplies, your printer ink, your studio utilities, things like that. Overhead can be difficult to figure out at first, so depending on your situation, you might want to omit this, um, but I strongly encourage you to add this into your calculation as soon as you can. Even better than omitting overhead, just add $1 to each piece for now. That usually covers most businesses. I will elaborate with a hypothetical below, but you can comment below and I can help you determine the overhead for your specific situation. Let's use a clay cup as an example. Labor. Let's say you can make four cups per hour, start to finish. So your labor is $15 per hour. Divide this by four to get the labor per cup. This would work out to $3.75. Materials. You used $1 per cup of materials in clay and glaze. Overhead. Let's say you spent $500 last month on tools, supplies, utilities and you made 500 cups total. So that would work out to $1 per cup. That's your overhead. If this is your situation, your formula would look like this. $15 divided by four plus $1 plus $1. Realistically, starting off, you want your prices to be as low as possible while still allowing for growth. So that's why I like the $15 an hour mark or even $10 an hour while you're starting out. It'll allow you to start earning some decent money while still offering competitive pricing. The biggest mistake I made as I grew was I lost track of my overhead and my labor per piece because I was overcomplicating everything. If I had stuck to this pricing model, I wouldn't have been losing money by setting my prices way too low. So the sooner that you can nail this down, the sooner you can ensure that you are making the most money possible. If you liked my video and you want me to help you grow your business, please, 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 please like and subscribe my video below. Bye.